In this AI tutorial, we take a look at the new released Flux 1.1 Pro AI Image Generator. Flux 1.1 Pro is six times faster than the original Flux 1 Pro version, and its performance has been improved. I've introduced services where you can use this incredible AI image generator model with free daily access and give you some guide on how to use camera shots in your image prompts for better results. With Flux 1.1 Pro version, you can create detailed images with different styles. To use Flux 1.1 Pro, First service is Glyph app. You can go to other people's page and see their work. To start using Glyph, press sign in button. Sign in with your Google or Discord account. Press build. Then click on the plus icon. Select image generator. Add your text prompt and describe in details what you want. For image generation models, select Flux Pro version 1.1. You can change the image size based on your usage. You also have some settings that I suggest you use default settings. If you want to add a specific seed number, uncheck randomize seed and write it down. Otherwise, let the AI use random seed. After that, click run this Glyph button and wait to see the result. Glyph app is currently limited to 20 runs per day for each account. From this section, you can see the number of remaining credits. Another service is Rubber Band. I put the links in the description. Click on Sign Up for free. Enter with your Gmail or email and password. Check out the different features of this website. To create image, write your prompt. You can change image numbers and aspect ratio. You can also select Flux Schnell or Flux 1.1 Pro version and then save the settings. After that, click on the Generate button and wait for the result. Click on the Profile section. You can create 10 images per day with Flux 1.1 Pro version, and here you can see how many images are left. In the free plan, you can create 100 images per day, and if you want to use Flux 1.1 Pro version, you can create 10 images. Another service is Anakin AI. Click on Logan. Enter with your Gmail or email and password. In the search bar, type Flux. In the Flux 1.1 Pro section, click on Use this app. To create an image, write your prompt. You can change the aspect ratio of the image. If you select Custom, you can add width and height for your image. Add seed number or let it use random seed. You can also change the output format for download. Press the Generate button and wait for the result. When you create a new account, you get 100 free credits. Also, you get 30 free credits per day, and these credits reset every day. Last service is Together AI. Press Start Building Now. Sign in with your Gmail or LinkedIn or GitHub account. Complete profile to get $5 free credits. You can see your remaining credits in the dashboard section, here you can see cost of each generation with this model. From the playground section, select image part. You can use Flux Schnell for free. Select Flux 1.1 Pro model. You can create one image per generation and you can change the width and height for your result. I use the default steps. For seed number, you can use random number or you can change the slider and set special number. Write your prompt here and press the generate button to get the result. You can access other services from here. Use any service you like. I suggest you try all the services. Write what you want in detail. If you need prompt resources, watch these videos. In addition to prompt resources, you can use ChatGPT and ask it to give a detailed prompt to the AI image generator and give it the desired topic. I use this prompt. You can generate again and see different results. If you like it, right-click on the image and select Save Image as the image will be downloaded in the format you specified in the settings. 
The image is perfect. Add what you want to see in your prompt, and based on the result, you may need to try again to get what exactly you want. In this video, I showed you different Flux One models and showed you some prompt guides. There are different types of camera shots that you can use in your prompts. Camera shot determines how much of the scene to include in your frame. Wide or long shot, set the camera far from the subject to capture the entire scene, including the background environment. This shot shows the character or any special things smaller than the location and establish context and scale. Full shot, this shot shows the entire body of the character along with some of the surrounding environment. Medium shot, this shot shows the character roughly from the waist up while still showing the surrounding. This shot is perfect for portrait. Close up shot, this shot zoom in on a specific part of a character often on the face and is a good way to show the character's emotions and reactions. Use a close-up shot to focus on the subject's face and highlight the emotional expression. Like and subscribe for more AI videos. In future tutorials, I will show you more tips for using the camera in video generation tools. Thanks for watching.